Ongoing situation there, James. Thank you very much. We'll keep everybody posted. Four buildings in Albany's Manton neighborhood will be coming down now after a stubborn early morning fire consumed the buildings on Grand Street in Albany. And News 10's Skylar Eagle was on the scene all morning. She has the latest on the fire and the city's response with people forced out of their homes permanently now. A fire is under investigation today after burning for several hours. City officials are telling us that all four buildings involved in this fire are likely a total loss. Several buildings on Grand Street engulfed in flames this morning when a fire broke out just before 2. We arrived at 157 to find a heavy fire condition in the rear of three structures. Three structures were, were fully involved at that point. Uh, the, the, the rear sections of the building were, were going uh, uh, were active fire. The fire quickly moved throughout the buildings. No one was injured and several animals were rescued. 15 people were displaced and 10 apartments were damaged. Mayor Kathy Sheehan was on scene early this morning surveying the damage. She says all four buildings will likely have to be demolished. It is clear that three of the buildings are going to have to come down. It looks like all four though. Um, just given the intensity of the fire and the amount of water damage that's been done and the collapses that have occurred inside the structures. It's still unclear which building the fire originated in and what caused it. She and added one of the four buildings was vacant. One of the buildings was vacant, but it was registered as a vacant building by a property owner that owns a number of properties on this street uh, and that it has, uh, I, I believe, purchased that building with the intent of rehabbing it and, and leasing it out uh, and providing affordable housing. The investigation continues this morning. We're also told that demolition is expected to be completed in the next 24 hours. We'll have the latest on air and online. For now, reporting in Albany, Scott.